Hello there guys and welcome to our 14th in Java game programming tutorial. In today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and talk about well we're gonna basically define the stop uh, function and also the update game function. So if you guys didn't watch the previous tutorial you will need to do that as as you will need those in order to proceed with this tutorial. So if you haven't done if you haven't done that, go ahead and do that guys and you can go ahead and get started with this one. So you can pause the video or watch the other tutorials and then come back to this tutorial. So this would be a fairly short tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started to keep it up to a minimum time. Let's start by putting a comment and let's say um, thread stops. And we're gonna have a public void and I'm gonna call it stop function. And here this kills. Uh, this will kill the game loop, right? Which we created in our previous tutorials, or which we defined up there. If you go in the previous tutorials, you will see that. All we're doing here is we basically set the game loop to null, and thus to stop the game, as the game loop, uh, as a thread will be set to nothing and will terminate. Next, we're going to define our second function here which will be the update game. To do that, uh, let's put a comment here. So all this does is it moves and, and it will basically and it animates uh, the objects. And public void and what we're going to type in, type update game. Inside of here, we're gonna have the update ship function, so we will call the update ship and the update bullet, of course, and also the update asteroids function, and also the uh, check collisions, as we want to check for collisions if the collision if collisions are occurring or not. So, what do we so? These are our two functions for this tutorial, so let's go ahead uh, over it so you, can, you guys can better understand it. So for the stop here, when the game is stopped, when the user clicks on stop or on or the or a key we specified, uh, that will basically all we have to do is basically just set the game game the the game loop, which was our thread we created uh, in our previous tutorials to nothing, and that will basically stop the game as the thread will not be running anymore. So this is simple and straight to the point. And inside our uh, update game here, you see here all our functions, the update ship and the update bullets and the update asteroids and check collisions functions are underlined by red is because we haven't actually defined those functions and this is what we are going to be doing in our, um, in basically in the upcoming tutorials. So next tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to update the, sh uh, we're going to define the update ship function and then so on, update bullets, asteroids and check collisions functions. So what the public, uh, sorry, what the game update uh, function does, whenever it's called, it will basically call uh, this uh, this functions that are inside of it, and it basically it will call these functions one by one, uh, and then we will basically update the ship, which will be basically um, will we'll be updating the new ship location. So basically, if the ship is moving on the screen, and also the bullets, we're going to be updating the bullets location on the screen. Uh, and also and so and so on and the asteroids and also we and we also want to check if, if any collisions are happening because if any collisions are happening between asteroids we want basically move the asteroids uh, apart from each other and and if basically if, if the ship collides with an asteroid then we basically want to um, destroy the ship and basically tell the player that he loses he or she loses so that's that's going to be inside of the collisions function here that's what we're going to be doing all the collision checking so that's going to be in the upcoming tutorial, so um, for this tutorial, that was it guys, we kept this short and to the point, so please, um, if you guys have any questions, uh, uh, send a message, and send me a message or leave a comment, uh, and also if you guys haven't watched my other tutorials guys, please um, go ahead and watch those as well, as they are very informative, and uh, also if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys, please do that, Really, it really means a lot, and really shows me that you guys do like my videos, and do appreciate what I'm doing. And I also appreciate you guys watching and rating the videos and keep doing that. And also, and once again, don't forget to subscribe and uh, we'll be back with our 15th tutorial and we'll, we'll be defining our 
that drill will basically be us defining the update ship um, function so stick around for that and again don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching again bye